Anyway, guys, it's game three. Uh, of course, there's one hundred fifty dollars on the line. There will be uh, just like every single best of three. Man, Puma five zero right now means that he's already <laughs> well, man cashing them checks. Seven hundred fifty bucks Freaking in the online Puma. season. Not bad, Puma. Well, Night and the Spider was late, man. Did you see that? I missed it. I, d I did not see that. Look at the probe. You can just see at the probe production. Oh wow, you're right. That's a. Uh, it's a pretty. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's enough of a difference to matter. Like if there was, for example, some stalker pressure early on, that could really affect the amount of units that Night is able to have. Oh, out Wang Jing is gonna steal both assimilators, Ben. How often have we seen that? Or like, actually, have we've never seen that. But how often have we spoke about this? And now I'm so curious to see Night and how are you going to react to that? Some people like to proxy against this, uh, pulling probes. I'm not sure if that's the way to deal because I feel he's going to lose so much mining time right now. I feel Night and loses way more mining time with this uh, than Wang Xing does for the investment, which basically means that Wang Xing is doing a good job. Well, Wang Xing did cut some probes, Kev. It's 13 to 15, so yeah. Night and can't afford a little bit of this. Essentially, he's only, well, now as Wang Xing closes that gap. Uh, this is very interesting. I feel like Huangson talked about this at the NASL final yeah. last season and tried it and it didn't work out very well <laughs> on the same map, too. But I'm having a really hard time recollecting exactly how the games went. I don't think he did it at the finals. I do remember a lot of people talking about this. I mean, Huangson delayed his own gate on purpose for quite a while. Figured he didn't really need it. Uh, of course, he's going to get a better economy. I wouldn't be surprised if he follows this up with a 4-gate, because of course Knight and his gas economy is going to be a lot later. And normally, f uh, yeah, gas is the way that you stop 4-gating with stalkers sniping a probe or force fields holding your M. Very interesting scenario de uh, developing over here, man. Yeah, so Knight in just now able to take his gas, his warp gate's going to be significantly... Well, maybe it's not that... it won't be that significant uh, as the cyber core for Huangson yeah, still is Yeah, but Knight still has to start mining gas, it's significant. Significant? Significant. What did you say? Significant? Yeah. I said significant. Mm. Anyway, uh, Warpgate does go ahead and start up here for Huangsen, and he is going to be. We'll see exactly how far ahead. I feel like he's going to be a good 30, 45 seconds ahead of Night End. Yeah. Maybe but even more than that. But I do feel that this is. Okay, like this is pretty cool, Huangsen, but are you going to follow this up with anything that Night End really needs gas for? Or are you just going to let this go into a normal game and then you can say okay yeah you are the one who's gonna have a much more mobile army because he's gonna have stalkers a lot quicker than night end so he will be able to be active on the map but yeah it doesn't seem to be the case so whoa zealous Almost hacking away at that poor little probe night he, just got, he just got punched by three billy clubs night end no long is gonna get this robo right now so it's going to be a one gauge robo something that yeah I mean, he doesn't really have to play the way that he does. And he might actually be hoping that Nighton goes for an expand on his own and then Wang Xin will maybe try to push. Man, I'm really not convinced yeah. that this was worth it for, no, for Wang Xin. Like, he's behind oh, in pro. Nighton's going 4-gate Twilight Council, Ben. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Well, I was just going to say he's, he's behind in probes and, uh, and it's not like he's got a huge tech league. Like, it's, it just doesn't feel that weird. Like, that's a big investment to throw down two assimilators. He cut probes. I mean, what do you think? What are you seeing? I think it's pretty even. Actually. I, I think it's uh, really quite even. It did allow him, uh, or it basically it forces Nighton to be much more afraid in this phase of the game. That's why Nighton doesn't really uh, dare to leave his base because if he gets forgated right now, he's going to hate his life. And look at this. Wang Xing is getting robotics, uh, robotic space. So I kind of uh, was feeling the fact that he might be trying to go for one base Colossus play. Nighton, however, is going for four gate blink stalker. That should be okay for Nidan. Uh, then again, he doesn't have a robotics facility, so it's not as good. If he would have gone three gate blink robot, this is so good for Nidan. And if he plays it well, then he should be able to win. And now it's going to be a little bit harder because without high ground vision, it can be really hard to pick off units. Mm. And we have a small pause. Uh, no biggie. Just shows that the game is live, Ben. Yes, indeed. Nidan just we're needs trying a sec. To, uh, nope, now sec's already over. And we're right back to the action. So that was. That was quick. Maybe Night had to scratch his nose. Maybe he had to pick a booger. Yeah. It has to be something like that. So Wang Xin, what's going to be? Yeah, it has to be Colossus, man. He's getting an observer right now. Yeah, but I don't really see him getting like more speed or anything no. like that. That would be, be very silly if to do it so blind. 
getting a third gate right now. I mean, this is not bad for either side. Uh, Wang Xing should be easily able to hold his ramp, and I feel the moment that he faces four gate blink without a robo, he should just stay in his base, play it safe, and then expand because. Uh, if he knows that Naiden is on four uh, warp prison, four gate, four warp prison, <laughs> four warp gates, then there's no need for him to leave his base and try to win one base against one base because it's completely fine for him. And the moment the armies get bigger and bigger, it's much better to have colossus against gateway oh units only. Oh man, this observer of Huangsen barely misses the warp in pylon. I don't know that it matters that much because he's not in a position where he can go down his ramp and kill it. Naiden might actually just blink up the ramp, but oh no, good force field. Nightland really, uh, I mean, Wang Xing really needs a second Immortal, and that's what he's getting right now. I would love one or two additional gateway units as well, just to be safe, Wang Xing. And if he blinks up your ramp, you could really oh, use them. Is that enough of a force field? Okay, yes, it is. No vision granted by just walking up the ramp a little bit. Now, neither player has really lost anything yet. It's just Wang Xing being forced to use these force fields. Mm. Now, Wang Xing is getting a Twilight console on his own, while Nightland goes for the hidden expand on the left top side of this map. Interesting. It is interesting. Ninja expand. Do you think that Wang Xing might actually be going for TTs? Oh. Do you think something as Ooh, crazy as that is possible? That is entirely possible by, by Naiden trying to bust this ramp. It's obvious, yes, it is DTs. Wang Xing knows that uh, if, if it were a matter of just having high ground vision, that Naiden would be blinking with an observer. Yep. Uh, or he would just be able to see an observer, being s see someone, something crazy on the map. So Naiden, you're really going to need detection real soon. The, uh, the Dark Shrine is right now 30 seconds in. Nighten is starting to research charge. Uh, oh, but Nighten could just blink forward onto the ramp, and that would give him the vision he needs. Yeah, but he doesn't. No, he can't fight this, man. He can't fight this. There's no way. There's absolutely no way he can ever win this fight against three Mortis and all the Zealots. Nighten needs to get detection, man, or this game is over. War Prism is on his way to the other side of the map, so that also means that Wong Xin will be able to get DTs right into the main base of Nighten. Wong has got so little gas, though. Uh, that doesn't matter, man. Detection is all that matters yeah, right now. You're actually completely right. There's no forge, there's no robo, and uh, there's no hope of wow. keeping this main base alive. Unless for some reason... Wow, Hwax is going to come down his ramp right now. It doesn't matter. Like, Knight that can't kill the army. The, the Dark Shrine is almost ready right now. Ten seconds from being completed. Uh, Nighthead, who's currently 1-2 in the season. Wang Xing is 1-2 in this season as well. But I think after this uh, little harassment, after this Warp Prism is done warping in Dark Templars, I think Wang Xing will be the one with the 2-2 record. Wow, Wang Xing so confident he's going to even drop that Nexus. Zealot's going to get up into the main base. And uh, that's just the beginning of the harass that's coming. DT is going to start hacking away, and uh, Night in has to know that he's in. Uh, Nighthead right now knows that this is game over. Yeah. There's absolutely no way yeah. that Nighthead can ever win this. Just drops the GG. Sloppy, sloppy play by Nighthead, but excellent decision making by Wang Xing, winning this PvP series 2-1 to one yeah. against Nighthead. Great read, realizing there was no detection in place. Yep. So it's still a little bit of a gamble because you never know if you're walking into a cannon. No, not just that. I mean, it, this is a little bit of a gamble because if you invest into the Dark Shrine and right in that moment that your DTs arrive, he does have a, the robotics facility. Then suddenly you're kind of stuck on one base. You have this uh, Dark Temple attack that you can't really use anymore. And then he could he still has a scary army, but if Nighthead would have had charge, which he had, uh, then he could just swarm those Immortals and the Zealots. Uh, he would have had the expand, the big account. Then uh, Nighthead would have been fine. So if he had a robo, he would have been fine. But Wang Xin, as you said, he spotted the fact well, if all he wants is high ground vision and he doesn't have it, maybe I should go to the TS. That's what he did. He didn't hesitate either. Like the moment this started, he dropped the Twilight console immediately. Never used the robotics play. Talking about a way to adapt. Yeah, uh, he played it. He played it brilliantly. That game was brought to you guys by iBuyPower PCs. You can check them out at iBuyPower.com. Pick up your own high-performance PC, just like the ones we use here at the North American Star League.